Angel Corey, welcome back to my channel. Happy Black History Month. In honor of Black History Month, your girl is rocking her Black is Beautiful sweatshirt. I got it from Target. It's a full set of pant and a bottom, and I can link it for you below. But today, we are talking about beauty. The beauty trends from 2021 that I think we should continue or not continue in this year 2022. Some of them have tried and some of them have, I haven't tried. We're going to spotlight the four trends that I noticed a lot of and what my thoughts and personal views are on them. So, mind you that 2021, I feel like, was the year that women were stepping up their self-care, self-love game. I was sitting on people's posts, their memes. Women were, especially like our black melanin women, they were in, in embracing luxury and just spoiling themselves because mind you truth be told we women we pour a lot of ourselves into other people and we don't put enough into into ourselves we end up trying to pour out of an empty cup and then we get drained and we get resentful and then we start losing ourselves but 2021 i saw women step up that and the four beauty trends that i want to talk about this today are number one i saw a lot of people doing microblading trend number two veneers trend number three baby hair and trend number four college the use of collagen so we're going to talk about all of those in today's vlog if you're new to the nitro chloe channel i hope you stay please make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and follow me on all my other social media platforms i have so much to show you guys and share with you guys so let's get started with the beauty all right so first beauty trend i really want to talk about is something that i tried myself i started noticing a lot last year collagen um, at the end of last year, um, a, a lot of people were using collagen. And for those of you who were like me, when you started seeing people talk about collagen, you're like, what is that? Well, collagen is something that our bodies naturally produce. Collagen, we have collagen in our skin. Collagen is what helps us with um, keep our skin looking nice and smooth. And collagen in our younger days is what causes us not to be able to have a lot of the wrinkles and the lines. Collagen helps with skin elasticity and Collagen, like I said, our body produces it naturally, and but as we get older, it starts diminishing, which is why you see you start getting more wrinkles and all those lines and everything like that in your skin. So I've always been open. I'm in my late 30s, and although I have been blessed with an awesome gene from my parents, my mom and dad, they're in their 70s, and they look great for what they are. They look great for their age. A lot of people don't really know that they're in their 70s, especially my dad. So I know my genes, I'm lucky. I, I'm, I'm not going to probably age as much. But, and they also say black doesn't crack. But, and that's not always the, 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 the cause in every situation. So because I know I'm in my late 30s, I really want to start stepping up my collagen in my body. So that's why I'm proud to show you guys this awesome brand called Omono. Omono Skin Care, Omono Beauty Care is a Japanese-based owned skincare line. And you're like, Nigel Chloe, why do we need to worry about, um, why do we need to care about a Japanese brand? Because this Japanese brand was hitting the beauty industry last year by storm. They got recognized in Forbes magazine, Glamour Ma magazine, and the Chicago Tribune for having a product that really has an effect on our skin. If you look at, both, like collagen tr comes in so many different forms. For example, I've seen people have co take collagen tablets. I've seen people take collagen, um, like pills, collagen drinks. I've seen people take even collagen shots because who doesn't want our skin to look gorgeous? Like, look at this. This is just like my face is just looking so great. And I've only been trying this product for about seven days. And by day four, I started noticing it. So let me tell you more about Amono Beauty. So Amono Beauty, like I said, they're based in Japan, but the thing about their, um, when you order from them, you get, they have a 30 day packet and then they have a 60 day packet. I got the 60 day packet and in, in your little box, you get little mini size boxes that look like this. And it just says, um, antihaxothene and collagen. So when you open your box, your package, it comes in little sachets. So this sachet is all you need in one day. One day of this will help give you the collagen you need for the day. And then you just continue using it. And you can you mix this with the, you can use it with water. You can use it with your um, teas, your coffee. So when I first got it, I was like, okay, let me try it with water. 
I didn't like the wa the the taste of it with water because it was kind of gritty. But then the next day, I tried it with my tea because I'm a tea person. So I wanted something hot. So I put it with my tea, and the taste was getting better. So then the third day, I was like, you know what? I had to go to work, and I packed it with me to work. And I was like, let me try with my coffee because usually with my coffee in the morning, I put like cream and I put sugar. But I'm like, I'm just going to do my regular black coffee, and I added a packet of this in there. And this tastes like vanilla. So if you're a vanilla person, if you're a sweet tooth person like me, this is really, really awesome to do, to have, because it has that sweetness. So when I put it in my coffee, I didn't have to worry about putting no sugar, nothing. It just gave it the sweetness that I needed. So these, for example, is just a collagen packet, and it's. Um, I'm going to show you the video of how I did it, so you guys can just see how easy it is to just kind of mix into your everyday routine, and why not... To get what you need in the morning whether it's your coffee your tea and then still add that extra boost so like I said it's skincare made easy with this one drink and um, it has no GMO or no artificial flavors so it's really really natural to use and it, like I said it had a lot of media spotlight last year so I want to know did you guys hear about the collagen do you use collagen what are your thoughts on it definitely want to comment below but I'll definitely put the link for the Omono Care um, so you can go and check them out yourself. You don't have to take Nigel Chloe's word free, but I hope you do because I've, I've always been an open book with you. But check them out. I'll put their link below. You can try their 30-day or you can try their 60-day. And it just promotes hydration, even skin tone, because I suffer from uneven skin tones. And it also gives your skin elasticity. So that's my collagen trend. I'm definitely going to continue trying it. And finishing, I want to finish my whole 60 days, and then probably I'll come on another vlog and show you guys my skin before and my skin after. So then maybe by that time, you will believe that collagen really does help, and it allows your skin to glow from the inside out. On to beauty trend number eight. Beauty trend number two that I noticed a lot last year was microblading. And it's not microblades, it's microblading. And what microblading is, is a beauty tattoo that a lot of women were doing that I noticed last year on their eyebrows. It allows you to have the image of having nice arched eyebrows. They're tattooed on and they're supposed to be doing like stroke by stroke. Now, I know at least five people last year who did microblading. And the thing about microblading is I've had, I have tattoos, so it's not even the pain for me. It's just the beginning phase of it. Like in the beginning, they look like nice and dark, like you have penciled, like penciled eyebrows. And I love that shape of it, that, that image of the look. But then after some time, like there's a vlogger that she, she talked about her microblading process and how like irritating it was because when you first get it done, you can't really wash or scrub your face for like the first couple of days or I think up to a week. Then your skin starts to peel. And then when it starts to peel, the eyebrows start looking faded. And I was thinking like, isn't it the purpose of you having it so you can always look like you have a makeup on, like your eyebrows are just perfectly arched to the core, to the T. So, and then like one of the people, like it's just like one of my friends, I saw her, like it literally, they're doing stroke by stroke. So if you don't have a high pain tolerance, I won't recommend microblading for you. But I seen a lot of people do it last year. Um, one of my cousins did it. So I'm actually wanting to call her so she can tell you guys about the pros and cons of um, what um, her procedure, her process, and then what she you know, give you guys some insight because it's better to hear from the horse's mouth than themselves. So I'm going to give her a call and you can hear from her personally and what she, her thoughts are. I was able to get my big sister on the phone instead of my cousin. So she was one of the people that I know that got microblading last year. So, hey, Big Six, how are you? Hi, Nigel Chloe. I'm well. She calls me Nigel Chloe. So, <laughs> and, <laughs> so, yes, we're talking about beauty trends of 2021 that I think we're going to continue seeing that are in 2022. You got microblading. So can you talk about some of the, pro, like, a one pro and one con about it that, sin that since you've gotten it? Or what made you want to get it? Um, so I wanted to get it. It took me a while to decide to get it just because I'm not a pain person. I don't have tattoos or anything like that. And the people I knew who got it um, likened the um, effect or the, the, the process, like getting a tattoo. Um, so it took me a while to decide to get it. But when I did get it, I liked it. One of the things I liked about it is um, I'm not a makeup person as well. So it allows me to have the, you know, fresh face kind of thing. My eyebrows are done. And I don't have to worry about too much um, after that. Um, so what was a con? The con would be 
I mean, the, the pain, it, it is painful. If you are able to get tattoos and you understand that, it's, so that would be the only con, like you, the, the process and having to do it several times. So it's not one and done. Um, okay. Like, let's say the tattoo that people did back in the day when my aunts were doing it, they just did a tattoo and that was it. This one you're having to, it's semi-permanent mm. um, ink work. Yeah, but I do love it. I would definitely recommend it again. And I would, you know, I'm still in the process of doing it. I just got my second one done. Um, and that's it. Okay, so we'll definitely insert you and show your before and after of it. And so thanks for your feedback. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks for calling, Nigel Chloe. You're welcome. <laughs> Put some respect on my name, sister. That's my big sister, you guys. But I'm always grateful whenever she has my time. But yeah, so you heard it from the horse's mouth yourself. And not the horse, but you heard it from a person's experience themselves and the pros and cons of it. So it's up to you if you want to try it. Okay, on to beauty trend number three. Now, I was for collagen. I was for getting microblading. But I'm not. The beauty trend we need to get rid of in 2022 for the love of jesus please we need to nix baby hair baby hairs baby baby hairs should not be happening in 2022 especially for my women over the age of 25 i'm sorry a grown ass woman should not be putting baby hairs in her in front of her i i just don't get it i I've seen bad to the point where there's a woman who tattooed baby hairs on hers and she'd even do little small strokes. She did like big baby hair swoops on her forehead. That was just overboard. I'm going to insert the picture to show you how ridiculous it is. We should not be doing baby hair over the age of 25. I'm sorry. Or even over the age of 20. You know, you're grown. You want to be grown. So why do you want to have baby hair? Like I've seen wigs now that have it. That's fine if that's what your wig has on it, but you will not catch me dead having baby hairs at my age right now. Like, and then on top of it, some people don't want to rock it right because they use the wrong glue and then they have like white crust on their forehead. It looks like they didn't wash their face. It just looks nasty. It looks sometimes like dried sperm. I don't know. It's just building up. It just, baby hairs irk me when I see it on grown women. It was a beauty trend a lot of people were doing last year. People would like get little razors and cut the edges of their wigs and put it on. <sighs> why? Why? You want to be grown and sexy, then why do you still want to rock baby hair? That's a trend I will never jump on. I understand using edge control and having edges and just kind of swooping them back. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I think, yes, edge control. But for you to now start trying to find baby hairs and to and go... Nix it. Nix it. Nix nay on the baby hair, eh? Like, we are not. That's all I really wanted to say. That was, like, the number one trend last year. Like I said, I definitely wanted to talk about. I didn't understand why we were still doing it, and I'm, I will never jump on that game. But if you love baby hairs, if that is what makes your black beautiful, you rock it, sister. But your girl, Nigel Chloe, is not going to, um... It's not going to jump on that game. I don't, I, I can't. I, I just can't. I First of all, I have, my edges are shaved. So I don't know what baby hairs I'm slicking down with this side head shave. But at the end of the day, I've never seen somebody who has locks with baby hair. So if you've got locks and baby hair, you let me know. Because I've just never seen it. What are your thoughts on baby hair? Like, do you feel like there's an age limit that women should not rock baby hair anymore? Like, let me know. If you feel like there's an age limit where women should not rock baby hair anymore, let me know, because I think it's after the age of 21. You're a full-grown adult at that time. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I just have to get that out. I just have to get that out. And now to trend number four. On to trend number four, the final trend of the year. For me, last year, I saw a lot of veneers. People getting veneers done. And that's something that I've seen good ones. I've seen good ones. But I have been also blessed with the genes, as you can see, of having straight teeth. My teeth are straight. 
my teeth are semi-white and I don't mind. You know, my mom has great teeth, so I got those teeth from her. My sister has a great smile. So great smiles and teeth just run in our family. So I've never had to worry about getting veneers or getting braces. Mind you, I have a daughter. She needs uh, braces and stuff like that. I don't, but I don't think I would ever get her veneers. But she does need braces. But veneers is something that I celebrities have been doing veneers for a while. A lot of celebrities have been doing them for a while. But I really feel like... In the African American community, it's really stepped its game up, in my opinion. In my opinion, when Cardi B did it, a lot of people know Cardi B. I will show you guys. Cardi had a grill when she first started that was not the best looking, but she loved it. She embraced it. But as she started getting higher in the media world, as she started getting more famous and you know out there, and new shit started taking more pictures and doing video shoots the pressure of people knocking her teeth really got to her. And that's the thing about, like I said, being beautiful. You have to be comfortable in yourself. And I think she was comfortable until the pressure got too much. And so she decided to go get veneers done. And now Cardi has pretty white pearls. <clears throat> so veneers are basically a layer of material that are placed over your own natural teeth. And they're supposed to help improve your smile and as well as protect your teeth from damage. So if you're already having damaged teeth, putting some veneers could help you. Like I said, I've seen a lot of, like, for example, Todd Chrisley, the Chrisley family. They all have veneers. And my only thing about veneers, especially the ones that look bad, I feel like the veneers have to match your mouth. Now, if you have a small mouth and you go and get veneers that are, don't fit the size of your mouth, you're going to look like Mr. Ed. You're going to be like, hey, 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 like... This is not, <laughs> sorry, looking like this is not cute. Like, hi oh guys, this is what it looks like. You look like your teeth are too big for your mouth. It's not the right size. It doesn't look natural. And it, of course, is like, no, and then the, some of the veneers that I have seen, all your teeth, all the teeth are the same size. That's not natural either. Our teeth are not all the same size in the sense of they, each tooth has a particular shape so for a particular purpose when it comes to eating. So having all your front teeth look like Mr. Ed, like her teeth all grinding, is not cute to me. Like I said, um, veneers, like, I've seen some good ones and I've seen some horrible ones. And it's just something that I noticed in the, it was in the beauty trend a lot. Um, but the good thing is a good pair of veneers can last you anywhere from 10 to 30 years. But also the upkeep of veneers is not cheap either. Cause you do have to go back and just kind of get them, get them checked up. Now, if you want to, like some people do like a couple of teeth, but if you want a full set of veneers, mind you, this is in the United States. I don't know about other countries. I know some people that go to other countries because it's cheaper or whatnot. But anything that I'm going to do that has to do with plastic surgery, any type of alteration to my body, I'm doing it in the United States. I will save up that coin that I need to do it because I know the, 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 the policies of the practices and the laws. I will do everything in the United States. So if you want to get a full set of veneers, meaning your whole row, you're looking at anywhere from eight to $10,000. Like I said, it could be cheaper other places, but I, when I asked my good old friend Google, she told me, between eight to ten thousand dollars can get you a full set of veneers. That's a that's a nice pay down for a house. Like unless your teeth are gonna be insured. I don't know. Like unless I'm in the spotlight of the the world a lot, I couldn't see myself spending eight to ten thousand dollars on my teeth. Like I said, maybe because I have good teeth, I I don't think about that. Some people are like, well, I don't know how you can spend eight to ten thousand dollars on getting a butt but I ain't got one so yeah so to each its own but veneers is a trend that I saw in 2021 that I think or continue going to see in 2022 and my whole thing about whenever you do things that alter your body be open and honest about it don't tell us oh I just went to my dentist bull crap I seen your teeth your teeth were looking like barracuda and now they're looking like so come on, save the story, save all the lies, just be open and honest. I got my teeth done. Oh, they're like, they're nice. You know, people are not going to knock you. You do whatever you want with your coins. But veneers is something that I saw that I know we can probably continue to see in the upcoming year. So what are your thoughts on veneers? Would you get them? Do you know anybody who got a veneer job and you like it, you don't like them? Comment below. Now time to wrap it up. All right, so that wraps our beauty trends of 2022. 
that we're going to continue and the ones I think we need to get rid of. So which of the four would you want to try? Have you tried any of them before? Um, like I said, I've never done microblading, but I have done the henna tattooing and which is almost like a, per a temporary eyebrow tattooing and it lasts you from anywhere from seven to ten days and I like the way it looked but of course after some time your skin heals it peels it goes away but I did like the henna tattooing that I did before so but I don't think I would do the microblading because of the fact that the individual strokes I couldn't sit down for that even though I have tattoos veneers I wouldn't do because I love my teeth but um if you're gonna get veneers just make sure you don't look like Mr. Ed the collagen, please make sure you try, like my ladies out there, get your skin looking beautiful and glowy. Try the Mono Care, or if you know another collagen company you want to try, that's fine. But I'm going to try Mono Care. I'll put their link below for you to try them out. And it's just a pack of the day. A pack of the day keeps the wrinkles away. And last but not least, baby hairs. Get rid of them. Don't try them. That's just my personal opinion on them. But thank you guys for rocking with me one more time. Please make sure you like and subscribe and you leave a comment below. Let the notification bell so you can also know when I'm always posting videos. And I'm 50 people away from my 500 subscribers. So keep on sharing the videos with your friends and family. And let's keep on showing some love. Happy Black History Month. Black is beautiful. You are beautiful. And I love you.